Welcome to the Our Vision Caribbean and Latino Filmmaker Podcast, hosted by Charles Aline and Dr. Christopher C. Odom. On this episode, we speak with prolific filmmaker, actor, and film festival director, Adrian Contreras, about his body of work screening at the Cannes Film Festival and Adrian's 7th Annual Madero City International Film Festival, a.k.a. Figma. This episode is sponsored by the Our Vision Caribbean and Latino Film Festival, which is dedicated to ensuring that Caribbean and Latino filmmakers have a voice that's heard and a wide audience to showcase their work. I want to welcome everyone to the Caribbean Latino Film Festival. And today we have a special guest. His name is Adrian Contreras. He's a filmmaker and he also has uh, a film festival that's in Mexico. And Adrian is going to talk today about his festival. And also, he's going to talk about being a filmmaker. Adrian, you want to talk a little bit about yourself? Introduce yourself to the audience. Okay, great. Um, hello, guys. Uh, yeah, my name is Adrian. And thank, thanks uh, for presenting me, Charles. And um, hello, uh, Christopher. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. But basically, my my story about my my bio, my my biography sorry <laughs> um i studied uh, the film school in veracruz um like four four years ap- approximately and then uh, i had i had a, a good experience you know because uh i went to the con the french con the film festival and then when i back to mexico and i thought wow uh if in my city x is a beautiful beach uh, why cannot you know uh, making this this film festival in my city? So right now, X is Figma. <laughs> so so that's the name of your film festival. X. This is the name of your festival. Yeah, Figma. Um, Figma. Madero City, Madero City International Film Festival in Spanish. Uh, uh, festival Internacional de Cine de Ciudad Madero. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, uh, how- uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. No. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, and you're gonna uh, tell me why the raccoon? <laughs> it's very, very curious because in in the beach here in in this Tampico city, uh, Madero city, uh, uh, right now, uh, uh, raccoons live lives in 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 the beach. I mean, it's like I don't know, but <laughs> they they live here in you know in in, in the beach. Yeah. So for nice. that. The award is the raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. So how long has the film festival been running? ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene el festival este en efecto? Yeah. Um right now is a uh, seven annual, you know, seven and each edition right now. Yeah. Seven okay. years? Sí, año? seven years. Uh, comenzó en el 2017. It started in 2017. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what has the reaction been with the community? How do the community ¿Cómo ha sido embrace la the reaction de la comunidad? Eh, ¿Cómo lo han recibido? Con Good el question. Festival? Good question, Charles. You know, uh, the first time was a little bit complicated because the people, uh, it's complicated, you know, uh, this uh, new about the film festival in my city because in my city, uh, never in a life, you know, uh, having exit uh, this uh, uh, festival. So mm. uh, when the people uh, uh, try to receive this film festival was was like, what is that? You, what is this? What is a film festival? You, you know, but now I am very, um, uh, um, uh, I am very glad because uh, the, the people now, uh, uh, they can to know, that they can know about what is the film festival, you know. You know, like short films and, and the screening, and you know, uh, it's a good experience right now. So but it's a, a it's a very say. no. Is it a very important part of the community? The community look Ahora forward to the una cosa muy importante parte de la comunidad. Absolutely, absolutely. Right now, yeah, yeah. The people, the community, uh, there are uh, support of the film festival, and and it's it's a good. Um, es una buena oportunidad. It's good opportunity. Yeah. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what Thank month you. is the film festival? And can you tell us a little bit about this year's film festival? ¿Qué mes es el festival y puedes hablarnos un poquito de, del festival de este año? Yeah, um, it, it's going to be in November uh, in 23 until 26. Yeah, and it's going to be a good experience because right now um, uh, we we got vamos a tener, we, we have the, the, the film festival invited and the IT, IT International Film Festival. Uh, they're going to uh, screen in uh, several short films, you know, for uh, have more uh, a cultural community, you know, in the film festival. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, All right. So let's uh, talk about your uh, filmmaking career. Uh, I can how do you career de, 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 de cine. Oh, yeah, I got it. Um yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, right now, um, you know, I made a future film in Mexico. Um, my future film it was in the several cinema theater, and um, and I made a short film in um, in LA uh, like three years ago. You know, in the time COVID, you know, so uh, I I could to uh, film uh, uh, shooting uh, this short film. Its name is Kiss Me. And this short film was selected in the Indian Film Festival in Edmond, Oklahoma. And, okay, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank nice. you. Nice. So let's start up. Start up. Let's talk about your first film and what that experience was like. Can you give us a, a synopsis? Can you tell us a little about the story about your first film and how you got started in directing? Nos puedes, nos puedes hablar de la primera película que hiciste. Nos puedes dar un un resumen, un, un sinopsis de, 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 de la película y cómo, cómo, cómo comenzaste todo esto. Ok, ok. For example, uh, about my future film, um, it was a good experience because uh, I didn't have money for, you know, the budget because, uh, you know, when, when you make a future film, it's very complicated, you know, the principally the budget, you know. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I know... Yo conocí, I know a people. I knew, knew people. <laughs> Yo conocí un productor. Que I, él I met a producer that um, gave me a lot of support. Yeah, que él me apoyó para poder hacer esta película. So that I can do this film. Sí, y la historia es acerca de un hombre profesor. And the story is about a male uh, professor. Que él encuentra a su esposa con otro he... en la cama that he finds his, his wife uh, with another man in, in their bed. <laughs> and el hombre profesor eh, toma and the, una pistola, a gun. And the professor uh, gets a gun. Y en vez de dispararle a, a la pareja, se dispara el mismo. And then instead of shooting at the couple, he shoots at his, himself. Y toda la historia es él eh, eh, en estado vegetal porque está, se está recuperando. And the whole story is about him and his state of being a vegetable as he's recovering from that injury. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. a, it's, una drama. it's a drama. No, no, no. What, what, what I wanted to ask you, what, why that pensarse? story? ¿Por qué esa historia? Good question. <laughs> you know, uh, lo que pasa que yo viví en Monterrey. What happened is I, I lived in Monterrey. Y conocí a una persona And I met someone que esa persona me contó una historia que pasó story en la vida real. That happened in, in real life. En los años 80, ese hombre in, sí existe todavía. In the 1980s, and that person does really exist today. Y él wow. se ha recuperado. And now he has recovered. So, so this is a true story then. I mean, wow. Yeah, I know, I know. La historia de, de, de la vida real. Yeah. Wow. The, I, la historia se llama The Silence, the Silence of August because the, the character name is August. El silencio de Augusto. I'm, so, so I'm curious what happens to the wife and the, the cheating guy? What, what happened to those guys? I know. <laughs> <laughs> eh, ahora mismo, pues ella... Ella ya no es, obviamente ya no está con él. Obviamente, they're not together. 
porque ella lo abandonó a él cuando él estaba en estado vegetal. Because she abandoned him when he was uh, in state of uh, a vegetable. Y él quería decirle a la policía and he wanted to tell the police que él se disparó en la cabeza porque vio a un con otro. Because his wife slept with another man. Pero él no podía porque he tenía un daño cerebral que, que le impedía a, por el balazo. His injury caused uh, his brain to uh, not function to where he would he would not be able to speak because of the trick the impact of the bullet on his brain. Y cuando <laughs> cuando la policía. No, go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. police, no, 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 go ahead. Continue. <laughs> cuando Continue la policía. When the police. Interrogó, interrogó a la esposa. Interrogated the wife. ¿Qué fue lo que pasó? To ask her what happened. Ella solamente dijo que él just llegó a y se disparó en la cabeza, pero sin ningún he motivo. Just showed up and then shot himself. And, and that's it with no other explanation. Mm. Wow, this, this, this sounds like a series from the, like, like a novella. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, something like that. Algo así. <laughs> y, you know, right. it, 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 <laughs> continue, continue. Uh, and you can imagine, uh, like, oh, August, uh, he can speak like, oh, the truth, the truth, you know, no puedes imaginar lo que está viviendo el personaje. Can't imagine what that guy para was tratar de decir la verdad de que to, es que mi esposa estaba con otro en la cama. That my wife was sleeping with someone else in my own bed. <laughs> I, 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 I have to see the series now. This, <laughs> this, 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 right now you're, you're, you're pitching for a series. Anybody that's out Ahorita there in uh, podcast haciendo... plan Please contact una, this guy if you have if you want to make this to a series. promocionando una serie como Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> una serie. It could be. <laughs> it could be. Uh -huh. Yeah, so let's talk about who inspired you as a filmmaker. Like do you have anyone that you look up to that you want to be like filmmaker out there today? ¿Quién te inspiró para hacer películas hoy eh, en estos días? O, okay. ¿Qué es lo que te inspiró? ¿Qué persona? Es muy buena pregunta. Eh, yo quería ser actor al principio. I wanted to initially be an actor. Pero eh, sucede que cuando llegué a, a Veracruz... Eh, when, en, when I got to Veracruz... Encontré la escuela de cine y la única eh, profesión que había era ser director de cine. And the... the school the the film school the only thing uh, the only option to learn there was to become a director of a film director y accidentalmente aquí estoy so, como director accidentally i'm here now with you guys sí. oh y... so <laughs> no what what i what i want to know is like is there a particular saber, director that inspired you que te inspiró sí, sí definitivamente pues me gusta mucho cómo uh, dirige Stanley Kubrick. I really like how Stanley Kubrick directs. Sí, es mi director favorito. He's my favorite film director. Absolutamente. And, okay, so like when you're on the set. Cuando tú estás en el, en el set. What kind, uh, like now, how, how do you direct your actors? Cómo diriges a tus actores. Okay, bueno, es muy importante eh, darles esa libertad a los actores. It's important to allow actors the the freedom. Sí. Lo, lo primordial siempre yo trato is, I try to de tener una comunicación abierta con ellos. Open communication with them. Para que ellos se sientan bien eh, dentro del set. Feel comfortable within the setting. Y siempre siempre todo el tiempo yo les And hablo always, como sus nombres de los personajes. I always talk to them by the name of the role that they're playing. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. That's, eso, that's como muy comfortable. Mm -hmm. that, that's something that's very comfortable to me. That's okay, a good so, tip. Es, es una, yeah, go ahead, Chris. Es un buen, es un buen mm -hmm. consejo. Es correcto. So, so what are you es working correcto. on as, as a filmmaker now? Do you have anything that you're working on presently? Any films, any, are you writing scripts? Do you do your own writing? Do you write? 
¿En qué estás trabajando ahorita? Um, ¿Haces tú, tú, tú escribes tus propios papeles o estás, tienes un proyecto pendiente que ya estás este, en progreso eh, en, est en estos momentos? Sí, no. Sí, eh, en este momento eh, escribí una. Eh, yes, mi uh, largometraje. Ready, um, I'm writing a feature film. Sí, mi segundo largometraje y estoy my en second, proceso. My second feature film and then sí. y estoy en proceso de of... pedir apoyos para poder hacer esta segunda película, que es una comedia. Getting some support and being able to develop another uh, another movie which is a comedy movie. Este episodio está patrocinado por el Festival de Cine Latino y Caribeño Art Vision, que se dedica a garantizar que los cineastas latinos y caribeños tengan una voz que se escuche y una amplia audiencia para mostrar su trabajo. El Festival de Cine Latino y Caribeño Art Vision es el único festival de cine latino y caribeño combinado que califica para los Oscar a los cortometrajes. Cada año, Art Vision proyectará a los ganadores de las categorías de cortometrajes en vivo en los cines en ambas costas durante una semana como parte de los requisitos para la consideración del Oscar. Haga clic en el enlace en nuestro perfil ahora para enviar su película al próximo festival de cine latino y caribeño Art Vision para compartir su trabajo, llegar a su audiencia y convertir sus sueños en realidad. So let's say, what is your dream um, cast? Like, if you have enough money, you can get a famous actress or a famous actor. Who would you like to be in this uh, film, this new film that you're making? ¿Quién te gustaría de tener de actores de que sean tus sueños de tu tu grupo de actores? A, a, ¿Quiénes serían los que quisieras tener en una de tus películas? Denzel Washington. Definitely. <laughs> I love Denzel. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Bueno. Um, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Denzel Washington. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, what about the female part? ¿Y la y de mujer? Um, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Definitivamente. Oh, so, so you want all the big name actors then. Entonces, so you want like, establish... Grandes. Actors. Los establecidos ya, ajá. ¿Perdón? <risa> sí, Entonces, sí. Este, inspiras a tener a los más altos. Sí, sí, totalmente. Yes, yes, totally. Absolutamente. Absolutely. You ask him dream. dream. Yeah, the, the question, tú, tú le preguntaste cuál era el sueño. Sí, ese es mi sueño, definitivamente. Yeah, that, that's my dream, definitely. Sí. Mm. <risa> so, so you would like to... You would like to work in Hollywood then. That's your ultimate dream is to work in Hollywood, to be a filmmaker in Hollywood. Entonces, tu sueño máximo sería trabajar en Hollywood, entonces. Sí, mi sueño máximo es yes. eh, hablar yeah. mejor inglés y, y hacer una película en Hollywood. My biggest dream is to um, improve, my, improve my English and make a movie <laughs> in Hollywood. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. Adrian, I'm glad that you're on this um, this podcast that so you can share your your experience as a as a you know as a filmmaker and as a creator of a, a festival. And so, what I will my next question is: What would you want to share about you as a filmmaker and about the festival that people don't know? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, could, could, could you repeat again? ¿Qué es lo que te gustaría compartir en este momento como productor de películas y y una persona que está haciendo el festival? ¿Qué te gustaría compartir acerca de ti con la audiencia? Que la gente no sepa de ti. Sí, pues bueno, eh, a mí me gustaría eh, compartir... I would like to share... Eh, los momentos que vivo cada año the moments that I live every year porque tengo diferentes procesos because I have different processes y siento yo que es un buen momento para enseñar a good time to learn to teach eh, el que voy mejorando en cada proyecto as I'm I'm improving in each project 
porque siento yo que como persona cada, cada año uno va creciendo I feel like I'm learning more. Y, y, el, y el público va, te va, te va conociendo. Sí, correcto. Ok, so, how do you envision the festival tú, going in the future? What, what's your biggest plan for that, ves, the festival? Tú, ¿Qué proyecto tienes en tu mente o cómo tú ves el futuro de tus festivales? Sí. Bueno, en el futuro yo pienso que mi festival pueda ser una clasificación A. El, sí, lo que pasa es que, bueno, los festivales normalmente se clasifican por A, B y C. Ok, y, so normally the festivals are classified as A, B, C. Y a mí me encantaría que el festival like sea festival un punto de centro turístico a nivel as, internacional en México. Sí, as, as a center of point uh tourist uh, a tour um a touristic uh point of uh a tourist site uh Sorry. that would attract uh the attention of those internationally sí. so you want to be uh you want to be like um a french como, like the Cannes film festival that is that like yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah that's right exactly <laughs> You had mentioned that you'd had a you went to Cannes. I uh, was that your first feature that went to the Cannes Film Festival. You mentioned that you este, participated in Cannes, in the festival Cannes. Was it your first película? Oh no, buena pregunta. Eh, yo hice hice otro cortometraje. I did a short film, another short film. Um, uh, que se llama The Bet. It's called The Bet. Y eh, ese cortometraje eh, film, lo enviamos al Festival de Cannes en el we 2006. Sent, we sent it to the Cannes Festival in 2006. Y fue aceptado en Cannes. And it was accepted in, in the Cannes Festival. Y fue, con, fue cuando, cuando pudimos, mi, That's mi when equipo, we were able to, me and my team, eh, poder ir a Cannes. To be able to go to the festival. Can you tell us what your experience was like actually going to the festival and screening in the festival at, at Cannes? ¿Nos puedes compartir cómo fue tu experiencia al participar en el Cannes Festival y uh, la revisión de, 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 de la película? Sí. ¿Cómo fue? Sí, definitivamente ir a Cannes es un mundo going to Cannes maravilloso, world, mágico. Ma magical world. Um, eh, son como muchas of, estatutos, muchas reglas para poder ir a ser aceptado. To be able to be accepted. Y la proyección fue increíble. Eh, And it was a la, proyection la, was very, very incredible. ¿No te capté lo último? La ovación, como, como el, los aplausos de las personas, fue increíble. Oh, oh the applause of, of the audience was just incredible. Y sobre todo poder, overall, poder llegar con un cortometraje eh, with a de habla hispana, from the Hispanic side, con subtítulos en inglés, with pero, in English, eh, que muchas personas de diferentes países from different, uh, countries, pudieran ver este trabajo. Eso es lo increíble. That's the most incredible part. Y también poder saludar a William Dafoe. And also to be able to say hello to William Dafford. William, <laughs> William Dafford. <laughs> wow, fue increíble. <laughs> It was incredible. Yeah. Did you um, were, did you get a publicist when you went to Cannes? Tuviste um, que contratar un publicista cuando fuiste a Cannes. Oh no, eh, absolutamente eh, fui no, solo. I fue independiente. All, all alone. Hmm? Repite, no te escuché. Sí, eh, absolutamente fue independiente. It was independent of me. Sí, el poder llegar a Cannes. Eh, fui con Canis. mi equipo nada más. Todavía, no, todavía no tengo un public relacionista. Me encantaría. I don't have, I don't have a publicist yet. <laughs> oh, so, quick question. Did, once you came back from Cannes, did any... Cuando regresaste del festival. Did people reach out to you to talk about your short? Hubieron algunas personas que te buscaron para hablar de tu uh, cortometraje. Sí, 
Sí, yeah. hubo muchas personas que inclusive eh, me pidieron que fueran distribuidores de mi cortometraje. There were some distributors of my um, short film that approached me. Sí, y mi cortometraje fue distribuido en México. And it was distributed in Mexico. Sorry. Okay, so how was that experience like working with distributors? How would ¿Cómo? you describe that experience? ¿Cómo describirías este, esa experiencia al trabajar con los distribuidores? Pues fue una experiencia de llenar muchos papeles a lot of paperwork. Para, para inscribir oh. tu cortometraje y you después to sign up, sign esperar your un lapso de dos, tres meses two, three months, para validar el cortometraje y, the short film, y ya después poder later, eh, ser proyectado en diferentes the cines como en plataformas. Theaters and, uh, and platforms. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you make any money? <laughs> a, little, a little bit. <laughs> Honestly, it was a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Adrian. So, um, what would you, what advice would you give for people, like young people or people who want to start a festival or become a filmmaker? What advice would you give them? ¿Qué consejo darías a alguien que estaría empezando a hacer esto? Ok, primero, eh, mi grande consejo que siempre le trato de dar a los jóvenes es que primero se, se miren al espejo frente a, a, a ellos mismos See themselves in a mirror, first of all, y se pregunten and ask themselves, realmente qué es lo que quieren hacer en su really, vida. Es, es muy importante porque es ahí donde te das cuenta ¿Qué es lo que quieres? It's very important because you have to realize exactly what it is that you want. Sí, y, y nunca, nunca dejarse por vencido. Never, never, back down. never give up, never back down. Sí, nunca, nunca. Es, es muy never, importante never. porque hay muchos jóvenes There que tienen vida fácil. That are thinking that life is easy. O todo quieren que sea rápido. Or they want everything quickly. O hay jóvenes que ellos quieren llegar al, a la alfombra roja. To get to the red carpet. Pero hay, pero antes de eso siempre hubo como sudor y sangre. So before that, there was sweat and, and blood. Y disfrutar, disfrutar del recorrido. And, and enjoy the journey. <laughs> El recorrido de subidas y bajadas. The, the ups and downs, the... the the path and the ups and downs. Sí, es, es muy importante. It's very important. Okay, that's 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 really powerful, Adrian. Es that's really great, 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 muy, muy bueno. great advice. Muy, muy gran consejo. So if people wanted to contact you and find out more about your festival, how would they do that? ¿Cómo podría alguien contactarte para hablar contigo si quisieran hablar contigo acerca de tu festival? Ok, eh, tengo un correo, un correo electrónico que me pueden escribir. I have an email that I can, eh, y uh, a través de mi página, www.figma.com. Repítelo. www.figma.com. www.figma.com. Sí, eh, tengo como la opción de contacto. Hacia abajo me pueden mandar un correo. There's an option um, where you can send me an email. Y pues pueden contactarme también por Instagram de una forma más formal. I can be also contacted through Instagram in a more formal way. Para poder eh, preguntar cualquier cosa que, que les gustaría como participar en la vocatoria nueva. Questions or participate or do an, a new vocation. Como dijiste. Sí, en, en la convocatoria, the call. Oh. En la para poder participar en la nueva convocatoria que es el próximo año oh, to be able to participate in the new um, the new the new festival in the next year sí y también quiero mostrarles um, I would like to demonstrate este es uno de los trofeos que tengo bueno que, que tengo del año pasado that I have from last year es uno, el famoso mapache oh. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. The, I like it. That's the Figma yeah. trophy. 
Beautiful Raccoon. <ríe> sí. That's beautiful. Ese es el premio por los que van a competir este año. Es, básicamente, this year. Sí, básicamente categorías como mejor actor, mejor director. Of best, best actor. Mejor musicalización, música. Best music, best, uh, yeah, music. Eh, mejor cortometraje. Best, uh, short film. Y largometraje. And feature film. Entre otros. And among others. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Eight, uh, okay. Let me uh, say something, Charles. Uh, Adrian, yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to add that I was very impressed that, a, that after you went to the Cannes Film Festival, uh, you didn't come back thinking small and that you could make a, another film just for yourself. You realized I could make a film festival for my city, for my people, and to help other filmmakers. Um, and so what I learned from you is never think too small and never think just about yourself. Oh, I really appreciate that, really. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I think this was a really great um, interview. I, I love talking to you, um, Adrian. And so if people want to um, come to the festival, it's like, um, I, I want to promote it, like how can we promote it and have like hotels, but, you know, just like, how yeah. would, you know, um, just go on your website and that, you know, and we get more information website, how like, you can book a hotel and come to the... Wow. Reservar un cuarto en el hotel y ir a... Claro que sí. Perfecto. Definitely. Estaremos muy contentos y emocionados que podamos recibirlos. We would be happy to receive all of you. Okay, Adrian, thank you for coming on the show. I truly, Adrian. truly appreciate it. This was a great show. A great interview, oh, and I no, look no, forward no, to you coming no. again and talking about future plans that you have Espero uh, in your filmmaking uh, no. journey and in your festival journey. Thank you very much. Por nada en, y de tu festival. Muchas gracias. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Really, uh, Christopher and Charles, thank you, uh, wife, wife Charles. Berta, Berta. <laughs> Berta, thank you so much Berta. for uh, this opportunity for talking about the my film festival. And uh, I hope you, I feel, hope you guys uh, like uh, the movies, and it's gonna be great soon. <laughs> okay, thank you. Click the link in our profile now to submit your film to the Next Our Vision Caribbean and Latino Film Festival to share your work, reach your audience, and turn your dreams into reality.